We've got some Tarantino news. Mm. Woo! And it's about Brad Pitt. All right. They're teaming up again. Wow. How about that? How about that? Brad Pitt is going to be back with Quentin Tarantino in his supposed final film, The Movie Critic. And I think this makes absolutely perfect sense. They've got a great track record together. I mean, Brad Pitt's gotten an Oscar under his direction. Yeah. Inglorious Bastards, I think, is a brilliant film that really kind of, for me, Changed how I felt about Brad Pitt In, too. Inglorious Bastards is actually my favorite Tarantino. Me film. too. I really? love that yeah. one. And that end, seen it. that end Ooh. scene. Actually, I even have it right. Let me find the the shot. Uh, this shot right here, when he says, "I think this might be my best work." Yes. I feel like that's Tarantino looking at you through the camera, saying, "I think this might have been my masterpiece." Ooh, I like that take. Oh my gosh. These two in this movie too. Eli Roth is so good yeah, in this movie. The bear. Oh, Ray, this is a fabulous film. You've never yeah, seen it? No. Oh, okay. Do you watch a lot of Tarantino? Um not 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 really. Mm -hmm. Only the ones that if people decided to watch mm -hmm. one at their place or something like that. Sure. I, I, it's not like I'd be like, "No, I can't watch Tarantino." Yeah. It's just I I don't usually tend to choose to go see them i'm in you that know, but i'm boat. open to see but you're also not into like I'm kind of uh, violence like the heavy yeah. kind of and oh they you know get there i remember django some of the yeah. uh the racial stuff like was really they're not all like was, that you but... know was kind of a uh, uh just just a you know it's I, a hard watch yeah it's a, sometimes it's a hard watch for me sure and um not uh, and that, it's supposed to be yeah. you know it's yeah, not yeah, to yeah. Be like not yeah. that i'm trying to shun <laughs> myself from the world of that sure. because i know that has happened, exists, and it will always be in history. Mm -hmm. It's just that for movies to me, everyone knows, I go because I really either, you know, want to have a good time. Mm -hmm. It's entertainment to me. Sometimes I can handle that stuff. Sometimes I don't. Um, but in Glorious Bastards, uh, everyone says it's a... Uh, um, it's my favorite, man. Well, it's, you can you can really can you give me a little premise of it? Because I I did like uh... it's it's a it's an alternate universe in a, in a sense. Yeah. Uh, Brad Pitt leads a group of soldiers and mostly they, Jewish soldiers. Yeah, Jewish soldiers, and they're like a small elite crew, and they're in the behind the enemy lines in, in Germany, right? Like a hit squad, and uh, their ultimate goal is to, to is to kill Hitler. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and and all of his like higher ups. And, and so uh, it's about that mission. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, in World War II, there was no hit squad that caught Hitler and killed him. But this is an alternate telling of how World War II ended. But but okay, so that was their first thing together. Together. The next one was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And I specifically didn't go watch that only because I'm into documentaries. I watched so many documentaries on Sharon on Tate. On Sharon Tate. And and Manson. Sure. That it's, it was. I, I felt I didn't need a dramatization of what I saw already. Like it's. I, well, you know what I mean. This is also an alternate reality. Yeah. Oh, is it? Where there's a happy ending. Oh. Yeah. I had that same thought too, Ray. I waited till I got this as a screener to watch it, so I could watch it from home in case I needed to take breaks. Yeah. And then it was, oh, okay. I, oh. This, this one still, I like Inglorious Bastards much more. This yeah. one, I, I wasn't as super keen on but i know a lot of people loved this especially I might be just interested the in watching that and movie. actually you might really like brad pitt's character because of the happy ending yeah so okay yeah so it, i might it, give that one a shot it, because a i thought ride. it was just going to be a one for one it doesn't telling. glorify anything terrible yeah it, nothing like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Which okay is a, um it's a nice change from those kind of real life stories i did think it was kind of interesting um in this topic um where it talks about okay so the movie critic is the film he's in yes so Pitt may be playing, they're saying, the, the lead role. And basically this movie critic, I guess Tarantino, when he was in his young days, he used to uh, reload like the porno mag uh, magazine stand things and he'd take the coins out to give to his employer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of this stuff, like he was like, well, it was just really trashy and whatever. I wasn't into it. But there was this one trade that had a movie critic in the like in the porno mag mm -hmm. and he's like i loved his snarky take and it seemed like he was a little more like he wasn't like your typical uh movie critic in the time yeah you know, and the, i thought it was a lady been, that i thought it was a lady that wrote that art that's what art. i that's what we were thinking too so this may be a, a an alternate telling or he may be playing a, a different character but okay. either way it's based, it's based on, on on that yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's and interesting. so there is speculation because if you read the novelization of once upon a time in hollywood Brad Pitt's character is um, 
a real film buff mm -hmm. aside from all of his other things. Yeah. So there's 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 rumors going around that what if this is kind of a continuation of that world and he becomes a film critic. Oh. For a porno mag, you know what I mean? Like yeah. he's just trying to get his. Feet oh, in the world, I see. You know? mm -hmm. Like so, a shared universe, like yeah, a yeah, yeah. Tarantino so there could, cinematic universe. universe. There could be that. TCU. The QTCU. Yeah, there yeah. could be <laughs> that kind of a situation. And, and let's not forget, the, uh, one. this is supposed to be Tarantino's last film. Supposedly. Supposedly. So if it is, then he's 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 picking out his, his boys, his, uh, the people he works out, works well with. Yeah, and it seems to be a lot of people. I will say, I hope that it, since, okay, let's say this is his last film, I hope he... Bring, he brings back some actors from like his OG films, like Reservoir Dogs, Jackie Brown, and Jackie Brown, and uh, Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Uh, obviously, he can't work with Bruce Willis anymore. But I mean, even even bring back um, John Travolta for something, or Samuel Jackson, yeah. or you know, I mean, if this is the last one, then I'd like to see some of the actors he's worked for with with in his early career. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's going to be working with Pitt, and we'll probably see. Uh, Harvey Keitel seems to have gone through the entire arc of his. He's not in every film, but he's in a lot. He's of in them. most of them, though. Yeah. <laughs> so but we'll yeah. see if he's in this. I'm interested. I would like it to be so every every role basically is just a Tarantino cameo almost. Yeah. Because they're all the the actors he uses too are such incredible craftsmen and craftswomen. They're so so talented, and they always just kind of dissolve into whatever role he ends up giving them. Yep. So I'd love to just well, see the whole his, cast show his, up. His, from everything. I mean, I'm not even an actor, but obviously you are. But imagine being able to like bite into a Tarantino script oh. and then his direction. Yeah. I mean, that's like that's the dream. Yeah. What Aside great from maybe office. Spielberg, that's the dream. Seriously. You know I mean? Yeah. Having somebody who has such a vision yeah. and has a st such a style. Mm. Yeah. That'd be delicious. Oh my goodness. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for $15 a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash camp. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Guys, what do you think about Brad Pitt being in this latest and final, potentially, Tarantino film? Are you excited about Brad being on board? Does it make sense to you? Do you think this is Tarantino's final film? Do you read the reviews in porno magazines from movie critics? Let us know your thoughts it's on It's for the that. articles, man. It's, it's for, for the, the articles. articles. Yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.